Hello, I'm Antonio Mora. This is the News and News.com Day in Brief. Today's top stories in four minutes. It's Friday, October 26th at about 7 p.m. These are not hoax devices. That's what FBI Director Christopher Wray said today when he announced the arrest of a man based in Florida for mailing what are now more than a dozen bombs to top Democrats, Trump critics, and high-profile supporters of liberal causes. More bombs were discovered today, and we may not have seen the last of them. The suspect is a loner with a long criminal record. He lived in his van, which is plastered with pro-Trump pictures and attacks on the media. He also had a history of disturbing social media posts, some of which were bad enough to have been removed. It's another case that makes you wonder why it's not possible to flag these people in advance. No matter how disturbed the suspect is, if you don't believe that hyperpartisanship and the intense polarization in our politics had something to do with what happened, you've got your head buried in the sand. I don't care what side you're on, but it is fair to raise politics in looking at this case. As President of the United States, Donald Trump deserves a big share of the blame for the environment we're in. But so do Democrats, who have encouraged people not to be civil. And it's not a false equivalency. Trump's hyperbole and attacks on opponents are inexcusable, but so are comments from his opponents that have led to violence and could lead to more. And this precedes Trump and many of the hyperpartisans on Capitol Hill. Enough! U.S. GDP growth slowed to 3.5% in the third quarter amid the trade war and rising interest rates that have cooled the housing market. Growth was slightly higher than expected, bolstered in part by government spending and consumer purchases. Still, 3.5% is above the average of the past 70 years. The solid growth might keep the Federal Reserve on track to continue raising rates, which doesn't make Wall Street happy. On the other hand, inflation numbers were weaker than expected. U.S. equity markets dropped sharply, led by Amazon, which missed revenue expectations. The S&P 500 dipped into correction territory, and the Nasdaq lost more than 2% on Friday. Equity markets were down around the world, although not as sharply as in the U.S. Turkey is seeking the extradition of the suspects in the Hashogi killing, something the Saudis will almost certainly not allow. Also, the Saudi chief prosecutor will visit Istanbul to speak with Turkish authorities. Thursday, he acknowledged that the crime appeared to be premeditated. Trump is reportedly considering a sweeping executive order that would block migrants, including asylum seekers, from entering the U.S. at the southern border in a bid to stop the caravan that's traveling north through Mexico. Trump sees this as an issue that will help the GOP in the midterms, so expect to see further developments. In our alternate universe segment, The Great Divide Between Conservative and Liberal Media, we all know the story of how Puerto Rico suffered because of Hurricane Maria, excuse me, and how many thought the federal response was insufficient before the storm and immediately thereafter. But have you heard about Super Typhoon U2? Or how, as one newspaper put it, the storm pulverized the northern Mariana Islands? Utah is believed to be the strongest tropical cyclone to hit any part of the U.S. in 1939. The northern Marianas are a U.S. territory, and residents say anything not made out of concrete was wiped out. The islands now don't have a medical center or an airport. Good luck finding a peep about this on TV or, when I looked earlier, among the hundred or so articles on the home page of the New York Times. More than 50,000 Americans are in dire straits in the northern Marianas, but we care more about Trump's latest tweet. We have all those stories and much more updated around the clock seven days a week on newsandnews.com where you will find all you need to know in one place. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the right of your screen just below this video. And please follow us on Facebook at Real News and News and follow me on Twitter at AmoraTV. Have a great weekend. I will see you again on Monday.